everybody, welcome to Excel video 355. I'm working on a project for a group that wants to know a list of all the patients who have more than one no-show appointment in a given time period. And is that 100% of their appointments or 10% of their appointments? Who's their insurance? Tell me more about them. How recently were the no-shows? All that kind of stuff. When you're ready to understand and really reduce and control your no-shows, let's talk. I guess the most diplomatic way to say this is there were a couple of easy videos before on arrays and now we're kind of we, we're getting things a little bit more complicated now. Let me start easy and then kind of show you where I want to go with the power of these arrays. There is a function out there called some ifs. Same idea as some if in Excel video 184. Some ifs is in 185. And what you can do is you can say show me everything that's 2009 and south. And so what you can do is you can look at it a couple of different ways for 2009 and south. If you want to do some ifs, and again, you can watch the video, what it'll do is it'll say, okay, come down through here. Got to, let me come over here just a little bit. Find 2009, find south, and that's my number. And I can get that from a some ifs function where it's this and this. You can do the same thing in an array, and to be honest, as bad as that formula looks, this one's worse. And we're going to walk through the pieces. Let me show you what's going on. And the reason we're going to do sum and south, or, or the sum of 2009 and south this time, is so we can do or next time. Here's the deal. The thing you've got to know is this area right here. Excel can do math with true and false. True is essentially a 1, and false is a 0. So if you do true plus false, it's the same as 1 plus 0, and you get 1. True times false is the same as 1 times 0, and you get 0. False plus false is 0 plus 0. That'll give you 0. False times false is the same as 0 times 0. True plus true will give you 2, because each of these is 1, and true times true will give you 1. The reason I go through that is to help you understand what on earth is going on in this function. And let's walk through it a piece at a time like this. Again, we're going to look at the inner portion of the function. So I want this if guy right to there. So what this function is doing is it's saying if A1 through A15, remember that's, that, that's just our years, if that equals D5. And then the reason we're doing times, times is the way to do and functions in an array. So if this is true, and then B1 to B15, the location, whoops, Come back to that. Sorry for that click. If the location, B1 to B15, is south. So then I've got true times true to true times true. Oh, where, excuse me. True times true is 1. So true times true is greater than 0. This whole if statement returns true. If it's true, give me the related corresponding line from C1 to C15. Otherwise, give me 0. And the, the trick to the, the sum ifs is I can put multiple criteria in here. This has to be true and this has to be true for because I want true times true to be 1. If, I, if either one of these is false, if I go true times false, I'm going to get 0, 0 is not greater than 0, and it's going to throw me back to a 0. It's w truth in advertising. It, uh, don't hit enter. Control shift enter. Truth in advertising. Some ifs looks bad, but it's not as bad as doing an array with some ifs. But what you can do is you can put multiple criteria here, just like you could do multiple criteria in some ifs. But the other thing you can do, and we'll play with this next time, is you can flip this asterisk, make it a plus, and now all of a sudden you can do ors. You can do 2009 or south, which you can't do in some ifs. Be a little patient. We're going to come back and do another video on the very same thing, doing or. Hopefully between the two, you know, we can start to compose the overall structure of these formulas. Let me throw this up just for a minute at the end. What's our structure? Sums on the outside. And we've got an if statement on the inside. And the if statement takes a piece at a time. This piece right here and evaluate whoop, to there, evaluates if it's true. This piece over here evaluates if that's true. And then we do the multiply trick down here. If it ends up greater than zero, which means they're both true. If all these conditions are true, 
whether there's two of them or 20 of them, if they're all true, then this will come back greater than zero, then it adds. That's the way to deal with big, hairy and statements in an array. We're going to do big, hairy or statements in an array next time. Thanks for watching.